All right, hey guys, and welcome to darkness. This is when I drive in the morning. It is, it is just barely light outside. It just keeps getting darker and darker, and I don't want it. Well, no, I like the darkness, but I just don't like driving in the darkness because I like to tell myself I have night blindness, um, at least when I'm driving. <laughs> I don't think it's night blindness. It's more like night blindness to directions unless I exactly know where I'm driving. Hi, how are you? How you doing today? Tell me about your life. You can't really, but tell me in the comments below. Uh, Cause I am interested. Um, hey guys. <laughs> so um, I have a fun little story to uh, tell you guys. So I was at work the other day you know, because I go to work five days a week, so the other day is most days. Anyways, <laughs> I was at work, and um, me and my boss, Andrea, um, we were just sitting, working, like normal people, you know, because that's what you do when you're at work. You go to work and you work. Anyways, we were sitting there, and all of a sudden, from above us, we start hearing sounds. Not good sounds, curious sounds. Like someone starting to talk kind of angrily and frustrated. Um, and we were like, okay, uh, someone's not happy, I guess. That's, that's their prerogative. I hope they get okay. Um, a little bit later, like maybe a minute later, things escalated a bit. Um, to the point of uh, shrieking in terror. And, um, like, you know when you're screaming and you're just so terrified or you're in so much pain that you open your mouth and you just make an uncontrolled noise? That's the sound we heard from the room above us. And we, we both looked at each other. We, we were like, uh, like we had a silent conversation of what the actual hell is going on. Um, so I went back and I talked to one of my other coworkers, Kayla, um, who, uh, works with some of the people that own the building a little bit more than we do at least. Uh, and I was like, Hey, uh, do you know, do you know who's above us? Cause we need to, we need to, we need to figure that one out. You know, uh, cause, cause if, if, uh, some bads actually happened, we, we need to call, uh, the cops cause Jesus, Jesus H Christ, that could be really bad. <laughs> um, so I talked to Kayla and she was like, Hey, uh, I'll call the people at the building. And she called them and they were like, okay, um, we don't know, but we'll send a security guard. Um, and they sent a security guard and we didn't get a call back for a while. I was sitting here like thinking the worst. I was like, okay, okay, wait, there is the possibility that this could all just be a ruse. It's near Halloween. Maybe someone played a terrible, terrible prank on this person and it caused a blood curdling scream. I don't know, but you know, my brain went to, okay, uh, the security guard went down there and he was silently killed along with the first person. Um, and we're about to see blood seeping through our ceiling. You know, that's just, it's not what I was thinking would happen, but I was like, there is that slight possibility of that happening. And I was like, you know, I'm not prepared to to see, I'm not prepared. I'm just, I don't think anyone's ever prepared for that. And if you are, I think you need to see a doctor. Um, but yeah, I just no. So we waited like 20 minutes and I'm like, it's been 20 minutes and the security guard hasn't figured out what's going on. Hello? So finally Kayla got a call back from them and they were like, oh, <laughs> above you's an editing suite. And I was like, that makes so much sense. They're editing some sort of, I don't know, horror thing. I don't know. They didn't really tell us what it was. But they're they're editing some sort of scary horror thing. 
or a part of a scary, a part of a scary moment in something else. I don't know. But, uh, that's above us. And now we know, but I feel like we should have been told beforehand, you know, Hey, just a heads up. You might hear some blood curdling screams of someone dying. Just so you know, that's not real, but you know, we didn't get that. I mean, it is the Halloween season, so I guess it was, like, you know, the time for that to happen. If any time at all, good timing, screaming terror man. Man. But, I mean, it got me to thinking, and it's a disturbing thought. And I don't want to put this, I mean, I'm going to put it out there, but I don't want to put it out there as, like, a, <laughs> you should do this, you know, kind of thing. Um, and I've thought this before, but I just brought it back, you know. Um, and it could be a good film idea. And I know I probably won't make it, so I'm going to give it to someone else because it could be interesting. Unless someone's already done it and I just haven't done the research to, like, figure it out. Wow, that's very red and it looks like I'm blushing. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, lights. Um, so, if you were filming a movie and there was, like, blood-curdling screams and everything and all this, you know, and someone calls the cops on you, you're like... Well, I mean, first off, you're supposed to tell the cops. You're supposed to be like, hey, we're filming this. We're funded. This is going to happen. We're going to tell everyone around. You let everybody know. That's how that works. You let everyone know what's happening. You let the cops know what happening, what's happening so that if they get called, they're all like, don't worry about it. It's just a movie. You know, all of that jazz. But here's, here's the thing. If you really really wanted to murder someone and you had the funds to like get the camera equipment get a crew that was I guess I don't think they'd have to be in on it but you know get a crew get get producers get like start actually making a movie you could just in front of people with people hearing you could just kill a person Right? I mean, I'm not... Don't... <laughs> don't do this. But, like... You can just be like... Oh, don't worry. That was just the actor. The actor... Yeah, no. We had to pretend to chop their legs off. But you actually really chop their legs off. But, like... Right? I mean... Isn't that a little bit disturbing? I find that... Very disturbing. That that could be... Can you walk faster, sir? Hi, sir, you have a red hand. It's people like that I don't get. Like, walk. I fuck, I run across that thing. I run. I'm like, I'm getting out of here. Dude. Okay, I know you're an older man, but maybe you're like 60. You can walk faster. Anyways, I interrupted myself with a rant about walking across the street. Anyways. Yeah, that was, uh, that's, that's my story for the day. Sorry to bring you down. It's Halloween season, so I thought I'd bring it up. I have dark thoughts sometimes. I never act on them. Please don't act on my dark thoughts. Hey, my phone doesn't like me. I'm back. I was trying to say, please don't act on my dark thoughts, but my phone decided, you know what? You don't need to say that. Let them act on them. Let them act on your dark thoughts. Anyways, I was about to end the video, but apparently it just wanted to be ended for me, but you know, whatever. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you didn't like the video, click the like button anyways, because it saves people from being murdered above me in my workspace. Uh, and I would really appreciate if they wouldn't be murdered. Uh, you know, I tend to not like the loss of life. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and have a good life today.